a tremendous result was achieved with the Down syndrome patient. The Russian academician Dr. Peter Gereyev and Dr. Nadezhda Ustinova, using their unique technology and expertise, achieved a tremendous result in the treatment of a patient with Down syndrome. They managed to create a unique way in which a change of negative influence of additional X chromosome in Down syndrome is achieved by use of linguistic wave genetics technology. The experiment involved a positive results were achieved with the two and a half year old child Ron Hitarian from the city of Ekaterinburg. The brain of the child grows within the first three years. Roman's mother wrote to Nadia Ustinova. Roman was born on June 20, 2010. His height at birth was 2300 gram, height 45 centimeters, a head circumference 30 centimeters, a torso circumference 29 centimeters. On July 9, 2010, after blood test was obtained, the child was diagnosed with the Down syndrome, a regular trisomia, a karyotype 47XYX21. Roman's concurrent diseases at the time of diagnosis were following dacryocystitis of the left eye, physical development delay, underdeveloped height, perinatal defeats of central nervous system, late regenerative period, dysplasia of a coxofemoral joint, congenital cardiopathy of the left ventricle of the heart, hypospasia, heads form, right hand chronic touch neural relative deafness, perinatal insufficiency of the central nervous system. The special sound program which bears Roman's healthy brother's genetic code information was created and introduced to Roman. 25 days following the introduction, namely from July 1st, Roman started to show some activity and brightness, began to rise actively in his bed and standing on his feet. There was step-by-step -step movements, now walks with pleasure and with assistance. Coordination of movements improved, actively murmurs, began to respond when is called or addressed to, is actively interested in surroundings, behaves as an ordinary one-year-old child, drooling has practically disappeared, eyes cease to separate, improved sleep day and night, duration of the sleep has been increased as well. On July 19, 2012, Roman got sick. His body temperature rose to 39 degrees centigrade. Usually, before this treatment technique was introduced, the child would start choking the next day following the onset of the sickness, where it would be also very hard to lower his fever. Doctors would usually put Roman on antibiotics. This time, however, Roman was immediately introduced to the audio file created by Dr. Peter Gereyev, and it was playing 24 hours nonstop for Roman. Surprisingly, Roman's body temperature started to lower down the following day and on the third day Roman was absolutely fine and healthy. Nadia, I understand that only a few days passed since we started the treatment, says Tatiana Hitarian, but it seems to me that we see some changes already. Last summer Roman was able to turn over from uh, his back on his stomach and back, crawled on stomach. Within a year this summer there were no improvements and nothing was observed in Roman's mental development. It was very slow and hardly noticeable uh, progression. That is, by the beginning of summer of this year, Roman only crawled on stomach and turned over as well as he did last year. But now, on August 4, 2012, after the second month of treatment with this technique, the progress jumped forward in the development of my son. On August 23, 2012, a letter from Tatiana Mkhitaryan to Nadia Ustinova. Hello, Nadia. August 22nd, 2012. Roman had a regular checkup with Dr. Nikitina Natalia Viktorovna, Chief of Staff Medical Genetic Clinic of Ekaterinburg. For the doctor, it became a pleasant surprise that Roman started to walk. She assumed, when she first saw Roman, that he would walk by three years old. Objectively, the computer tomography showed that Roman's brain function considerably improved. Two components on EEG already settled into shape, and two at the present time aren't present yet. Yodomarine treatment is cancelled. A letter from October 1, 2012, from Hitarian Tanya to Nadia Ustinova. Today, Roman has an appointment with Mikhailova Natalia Tikhonovna. She is very happy with the results of a treatment. You can learn about the details by phone. Yours faithfully, Tanya. October 18, 2012, four months later, when Roman's doctor prescribed that he would walk 
only in a year. Thank you very much, Academician Dr. Peter Gerev and Dr. Nadia Ustinova for your help with my son.